Well, this is going to be quite the experiment here. Um, I'm going to probably have to tip this thing to cut that top part off. I don't know, we'll have to tape and it's going to be an experiment. See if we can see what we can get done here. So, it's really tapered, and that thing there obviously has got to get taken off. So, it looks to me like the pith on this thing is about 12 inches. And it's about 12 inches and the log is about 24 at this end. And this end, the pith is about 8 and the log is about 17. So that means we really need to jack this end up about um, four inches to get it to be at about 12. So I guess we'll do just go right about here. I know, we don't have a log clamp on this side. And definitely what we don't want is we don't want it to be halfway through on the blade and then have this thing start falling down. Okay. 
try and lift this up and grab that two by six. Let's see if you can get on, get over there. And then get some. <laughs>
birds out there making a bunch of noise. So it's the end of the day. We've cut some pieces out of an old oak uh, log, short log we've got sitting around here and actually getting some pretty nice looking cuts out of that. So pretty excited about that. Jonah is too. Uh, if you like today's video, even though it was very short, uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And also hit the notification bell, and then that way you'll get a notification whenever we put up a uh, put up a new video. So thank you for coming along with this journey, getting the uh, woodland mills sawmill up, going, going, and starting to cut wood. Thank you, and good night.